thinking of Paula Poundstone. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, it's Wednesday. It fucking is Wednesday. I, I came in, I came in, I put some news stories on, none of which matter. For a show where we have absolutely nothing to talk about today, I sure am excited. It's gonna be great. I that's, sure am excited. That's, that's, that's what me, we want. Part that's of me was what like, we want. Let's take it all, let's deconstruct it, let's throw it out the window, let's hook up an HDMI cord to my laptop right sure, now and sure. build me the ultimate Ghostbusters costume. <sighs> you were getting me pretty fucking You had me thinking all last night. You in want the one? You want to be one of these? It's like we're fishing right now, but we're not really fishing. Uh, Nick, there you know that like hooking your laptop up to the system is one cord that's sitting right there. I'm partying. Yeah, but now I want you to see all the other tabs that I have on that are completely illegal. There's, you have so many fucking tabs. It's I have insane. 1, 2, 3, Don't. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, You're 13, 14, 15, There's... 16, 17 tabs on. 17 tabs. On one Chrome window. On one Chrome window. You don't like the Diet Coke. Why I would hate you drink Diet, Diet Coke? Coke. I, I haven't had a Diet Coke in years with the exception of when you order a Coke and they bring you a Diet Coke it's by terrible. mistake. That's the worst. Um, <laughs> I, I apologize. And I thought I would try it. And no, still not a fan. Now well, here's the big question. Kevin, yeah. put Animal. up the big question graphic. We don't have one. Big question. Uh, remember, Diet Coke reached out to me on Twitter. Yeah. What happened there? I gave them our address. Ball They drop. said, look for some fucking sweet stuff, cool stuff coming soon. What's up, Diet Coke? So I did that for you. I appreciate Because, of course, that. I don't care about Diet Coke. But, but I just like, mentioned it. But you you like did it regular. more for a cool guy. And once every again, day I send him to get Diet Coke. Once again, yeah. showing what happens when the right person is verified on a social media platform. I was able to make a statement that rocked the world. I just mentioned Diet Coke, mm -hmm. and that got us Diet Coke sin. Mm -hmm. However, you continue to fight me and and organize I'm Instagram not, and people I'm, against I, oh, me. First off, I am I am Switzerland in this. I am neutral in this fight. I am neither pro Tim, pro Greg. Can we check on Greg's Instagram, please, though, and see if he's not in? Uh, you're not. You're not verified. Huh. Now, here, real quick. Huh. Huh. Can you click huh. on the story you just watched and turn up the sound, Kevin? Because huh. with content like huh. this, how am I not verified? The audio. You need the sound. It's a Nick Scarpino song. No, they're, they're can getting it, it. Can the chat hear it? I can hear it. God damn, well, it's really, it's wait, really impressive for Look at that bastard. Look at you that beautiful bastard right there. Nick, you know, or Greg, you notice there's no audio controls here, right? You I'm just that? saying you again. Do you see that there's, there's no a reason audio you're not verified on anything, and this is it. Kevin, I'll verify you. Verify. <laughs> <laughs> he's, I, expect he's, 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 I liked it. I liked it. I, liked it. I appreciate it. Uh, listen, as you know, Greg, I'll bring back. The, I'll dust off this old fucking dead joke. I'm the keeper of many things. Yeah. One, whether or not Blade Runner 2049 will be a good movie, it was. Two, Departed sucks. Three, we're gonna keep open, but no, we're gonna fill that with something today. I have the ability to verify people in this office. Not so they're verified in the office. I'm just verifying. I'm like, office verified. It's not so much verifying. It's more validating. See, this you know, is like why... I'll validate you with expecto verification. Am I verified in the office? You are now verified in the office. Yes. Is Tim verified in the office? You are too. Both of you back there verified in the office. Patreon hey, guest Mikey. Hey, Mikey. Nick, <laughs> this is why we needed business cards. Because now you could have done a verified business card that if had a little had check mark. Business all cards. I'm saying. You're right. All I'm the saying. The business card could be my name with a little blue check mark. Yep. That's all it says. It would have been great. And that says everything that it needs to say yep. about me is that I am the verifier. It's true. It just blue check mark ER. Yeah. Verifier. Sure. That makes sense. See what I'm saying? Uh, in the chat here, Mr. Yasman300 says, Greg, is Tim verified on PSN? I know you are. Another great point. I'm verified on PSN. What is Instagram's problem? What, what is, is Instagram? Here's problem? what I want to really I'm know. blowing up on Instagram. Here's what Kevin, I show know. it again. 75.2 thousand. That, first off, show how you can't write fucking Tim Gettys. You try to search Tim Gettys, you Still put there. in Tim equals sign J. <laughs> <laughs> like he started uh, What's amazing it, about that is the second he started <laughs> typing, the red squiggly line just went underneath it. No, and I, I was like, you are just going to be fucking wrong. I wrote Tim J and then went to hit delete, missed because these fucking fat fingers. Yeah, you do got them chubs. And uh, I hit equal sign. So shut your face. All right. Also, look at Gia terrified. Look at Gia terrified. Just terrified. Can we just click on our own Instagrams? Can that be the whole show? Can sure. you click on that and see how good we look as, as Ghostbusters? We look great as Ghostbusters. And this is what I'm talking about. We, we deviated pretty quick. Yeah. But we did Who this cares? Ghostbusters shoot. We had a great time. It's going to be a party mode up next week. Not this one. This no, is that, literally not what I'm That is the Patreon anymore. fan mail tier this month. If you're backing us at the fan mail tier, if you want that signed picture in your inbox, go back to that one, Kev, real quick. Might as well just get this done now. Sure. Uh, First, two things. One, we'll sign it. We'll send it into your uh, mailbox. Make sure your mailbox is properly lubed up because this thing's big and it's thick. 
So we're going to want to get it in there the right way. If you want it, patreon.com slash kind of funny fan mail tier. Get it. Also, to second thing number two, fucking tell me we can't make our own Ghostbusters film and make it look awesome. Uh, we I shot did. the first scene at Halloween last year. You we deleted did. the footage. Turns out, I didn't delete the footage. You still have I the have footage. I have the footage, but I gave you the footage to edit. I you never did. I just didn't know if it was going to play with you in a Ghostbusters costume, your wife a Slimer, and me as a kitten. I, I mean, that's didn't know because you didn't want to play the ball game. That was accurate to Dan Aykroyd's character. You didn't play the ball game. Now First you, off, you made me be Dan Aykroyd, which... Well, what do you want me to do? You, you think I'm going to let my wife slime you? Nice try. Because if memory serves, I think there's many. There's a couple different versions of the take of her just teabagging me on the ground. There's a couple we needed, of those, yeah. We, we got to get that up. We needed to... I'm going to make know, that a priority. Okay. My, we got to give me the footage. My flight to Toronto. I'm going to Toronto in a week. What are you doing this afternoon? This, this is a two-second edit. He's gonna make Do you know me? Yeah, you're I'll gonna put, fucking walk no, on no, your no, coffee no, and no, fuck no, around. No, 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 no. I would throw That's that. That's a but diet I coke. But I don't want to throw it. You don't understand who I am. I don't have the capacity to go fifty percent. Okay, I'm not like these millennials that are on that side of the office who go, sure. Oh, I, I ask them to do something, they fucking throw a crayon on the ground, and I go, is it done? And I go, whatever, you're fine. Who I go, you on, you? I go. <laughs> what the fuck was that story in your head? What was the narrative there? You was, throw a crayon on the ground. What and it was was I was saying, done? I was like, don't be too insulting because they work really hard. Sure, and get yeah, it of course. Done. So of course. I was like, they just, know you're fucking right. We can say whatever we want. No, and fine. Every, what, what happens when is, you're on camera? Everyone knows you can say whatever you want, and nobody takes offense to that's it. That's fair. Isn't that right, Andy? With your peg. Leg. <laughs> you know what I mean? He doesn't want people to know he's got a fake leg. You did the same thing. You were going to really insult Andy, but you said peg leg. <laughs> well, then I was like, nice. is peg leg insulting? No, it's not like, insulting at all. Okay. If you had a peg leg, it'd be kind of cool. You'd be awesome, pilot. right? What I'm Here's saying is this. Here's the thing, too, is I... I I'm going to blow you away with this edit, is what I'm saying. What I, okay, I understand that. I need the actual fucking movie. I'm going to cut in the building part. Bah, 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 bah. Not the right side, part of the movie. No, not matter. at all. We're but the it Cedric be, it'll, be the, it'll be the Cedric oh, Hotel oh, shot. The oh, 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 I want to color correct it to make it look good. Yeah. I got to put it in the 2 3 9 aspect ratio. Okay. I got to do. I got to add the sound effects. Ah, you know? I go, ah. Yeah. And then me is like, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. Yeah. We'll get it all done, man. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure all the proton sound effects, all that shit, yeah. I don't need for the scene, but no. it's all out there. I can, I can sure, mix it Sure, yeah, in. you can totally. Yeah, you got it. You got, all the, you got everything you need there. Here's so what back like to my do. point. No, before we do that, here's what I, here's what I want to know about no, you. Here's what I want you to know about this, right? <laughs> when it comes to Ghostbusters, yeah. I aim to impress. Yeah. And since nobody but you and me are fucking fans of Ghostbusters in this office, Andy hadn't even seen it, for Christ's sake. I fucking hate Andy. My goal is to make Ghostbusters stuff and make you giggle, which we did with that picture. So now, back to my point. Yeah. Is that again... Yesterday, you did a good job of getting my willy moving in an excited fashion ah. because you finally started to break down. Yeah. Because uh, you, you had so much fun in the shoot. Kevin, throw back up the shoot photo of us as Ghostbusters. You had so much fun during the shoot, dressing as Ghostbuster, yeah. walking around the streets of San Francisco. Again, party mode next week. Uh, walking around, uh, having oh, a great go, time. Go one over, Kev. Go, I, I know. I thought it would be funny. No, I like this one. Um... And that you get people shouting at you, saying, hey, Ghostbusters, they're quoting lines to you. You know, you're a celebrity in the Ghostbusters costume. Everybody wants to talk to you. You really are. You started, the, you, yesterday, you actually started looking. Yeah. At, All right, cool, we're going to EGLX next weekend. Halloween, the weekend before Halloween, where everybody will be partying yeah. for Halloween. We're going to come party for Halloween. Uh, one of the DOS brothers working on a community meet and greet. I don't want to say anything about it because he hasn't confirmed if he's locked it down or anything, that we will come crash. If you're going to Toronto and you want to hang out with us after hours, Get a Ghostbusters costume and come out with us because we're doing a big old Ghostbusters party. Fun. It's gonna be fun. But you started going, man. What if I got a Scarpino patch for the patch or for the thing you already have, right? The suits we already have. Mm. And then it started escalating. Is what if you made the actual suit? And it that's when I started getting pretty stoked. The patch is the gateway drug. Yeah. Once you get the well, patch, you're, you're so like, close already. Because I saw your outfit for the first time. I had seen it before. But really having dressed up as a Ghostbuster, now I'm seeing it with new eyes. Okay, I like that. I, I saw it for the first time. We've, I've been in it a thousand new times. I mean, already. I really saw it with fresh eyes this sure, time. Right? Sure, Where sure, I was sure, looking sure. the detail. You have the cool flight jacket, like the, 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 oh, yeah. the, pa the pocket on you the see arm. Right um, yours zips up so it's like fitted. Yeah. It's got other pockets. You can actually put keys. This one obviously we bought from Spirit Halloween. Good Shout job, Spirit, Spirit Halloween. Halloween. Appreciate that very much. No pockets, though. So when I decided to go... Sans pants underneath. Yeah, I had to hook my keys to the utility Actual belt thing, thing yeah, which yeah, yeah. I then had to tape because it kept popping off because my gut's a little too big sure. right now. Um, it got me thinking though, because I'm sure, and I'm sure people do this. You know a lot more about the community I sure than I do. I sure do. You, am I allowed to say what you're building currently? Oh sure, yeah. So you're currently working on an authentic. You already have the not. You knocked it out of the park. Uh, well, now you got the. Uh, you got these coming in. So you, you finally just, had. Just give me the compliment. All right. I knocked um, it out of the park with. You knocked it out of the park. You're you're working on a real suit, my first suit. 
The Ghostbusters suit one suit now nailed. Eleven years old, mm -hmm. something like that. Now you're working on a Ghostbusters two suit. Ghostbusters two, which suit. got me thinking. I want to make a Ghostbusters suit, but I want it to be like a cool offshoot of the Ghostbusters. Sure. So I don't know how far I can stray from the khaki, like the light tan Ghostbusters uh, jumpsuit. The, the, the what are you the trying to do? Suit. What are you trying to do? I'm thinking either a dark gray, like you, like for GB2, uh -huh. or with a classic patch, a black, or maybe go crazy, go like orange flight suit, sure, like NASA style. You can 100% do whatever you want with it. That's the thing. Is like <laughs> there's there's a line to being a ghost head of like, oh, you're trying to be super accurate, you're trying to, win. but remember real Ghostbusters, remember extreme Ghostbusters, remember the, the comics now, you can do whatever you want, and, and well, you're, you're never gonna walk up, like, the thing about it is, what was you that, go. you used to do a cocaine reference? Well, I was gonna say, I got a little taste of it, I, we can't zoom in on that, unfortunately, but Kev, if you go back to that, um, you can see right here. Wait, this one? Yeah, that one right there. You can see, you can show the audience right there, I've already, that's, ah. Kevin is struggling. Kevin, come on. Hey, wh what do you mean, Kevin? Come on. Do you see what, what I'm doing? I can't tell if you're fucking with us or not. I, sometimes you I, do your why own would own. I fuck with you? Look, just, earlier, why would you fuck with us? Because you clicked on you the wrong photo and literally said I did I it to be funny. It would be funny. So right here, you get a taste of it. Yeah. Well, I put a I put a bomber jacket on, uh, forest green bomber jacket. Yeah. Tied it around my waist. I think to myself, if I were directing a Ghostbusters movie, that would be the sort of aesthetic I would go for. Sure. I wouldn't have gone garbage person like Ghostbusters, the new Ghostbusters, where they were like. Look, I understand. They were the original guys were tape, like garbage right? men. Let's put a reflective tape on them and make them look like fucking city workers. Yeah. I would have gone like, like a Navy test pilot, right? Okay. Where they're in the flight suits, they have cool jackets. Yeah. It's a little bit more actiony. They look cooler. Also, I would have done uh, a mixed gender, mixed ethnic group of people. Put it out there. Extreme Ghostbusters because it would have been amazing. Yeah, right. Instead of just. Choosing to fucking shit the bed like Paul Feig did on this one. I don't think it was. It wasn't even the. Uh, we're not going to get into deconstruction of why the ghost, latest Ghostbusters. I'm not going to fall for this trap. This is like arguing about fucking Force Awakens with yeah, you. Yeah, I whatever. agree with Greg. It, it was pretty good. So I would say it's. <sighs> don't do this, guy. <laughs> <laughs> don't fucking do this right now. <laughs> don't do this. The problem with Ghostbusters wasn't a female cast. I digress. Let's move on. Here's the deal. Uh, uh, you can do whatever you want. Celebrate it and own it, and yes, make it super cool. Do a fucking do. I mean, fuck, dude, get khaki pants, whatever shirt you want, and then get a leather or whatever, a, a nice bomber you like, and put the patches on that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, totally but I want, I want to get an actual bomber. Like the bomber that I have right now, very thin. It's more for style. Yeah. I want the actual <laughs> thick. I want the actual thick bomber jacket, at least where that has insulation to it that looks puffy. Oh, so sure, I can sure, sure. it up on the arms. Okay. You know, yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. bandana, probably oh, wow. not, based Ghost, on your, based bandana. on your reaction just there was trying <laughs> it up, was was it bring it back, bring it right back, <laughs> bring it right back in. <laughs> Kevin, do me a favor. Yeah. Uh, can you go to Amazon.com and type in flight suit, and let's just see the colors, and let me just get. Can we? ID Are it you real quick? trying to get this in time for no. next week? No. All right now, the patch you may or may not come. So you did order the patch. I did order the patch. I paid eight dollars for the patch. Did you do it from GBFans.com? Like no, I did. No, it was well, it was or Etsy. It's, it's Etsy, okay. which I think the GB fans use because it looks like the same pictures. Oh, cool, sure. So I think they farm that out to them. But basically, the patch of the patch comes cool. If not, I'm just going to bring one of the Spirit Halloween. Shout out to Spirit Halloween. Spirit Halloween costumes with me. I'll be stands or eat, whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, or, yeah. Or, or, or well, no. Again, Cool Greg can just make you one. So here's what so I'm here saying. So here you go. Look, now you got some. You got a whole bunch of stuff happening. Here. So this is what I'm saying. I, I part of me is like, that's dope right there. The black. Yeah, that's like the one I ordered. What? button about that's for your pee -pee. For your pen it's for your pee pee is it really for your pee pee no it's for your pen there's a pen why there. would you have a pen right next to your dick because you I can't think move your about arms it, buddy. in the cockpit think about it yeah you dumbass you why, what the, the fuck are you writing love letters <laughs> they have these little tubes where it's, if, the, if the plane's going down you pull out your emergency pen and write fuck I'm sorry everybody see if you find this I'm in Southeast Asia <laughs> Nick that was a great response <laughs> yeah. the way you said love letters what are any of those pockets for like why do they need that many fucking pockets do you, did you not watch Top Gun Thank you. They everybody. didn't use the pockets. Thank once. you, everybody. Can you click on the? Let me see the colors. What are my colors? You got it. You got it. I'm array almost of colors. thinking orange, though. What? Yeah. You're I'm almost crazy, thinking orange. Dude. Deconstruct the Ghostbusters costume. Sure. That's dope right there too. That color is actually the one I was thinking about doing. Foliage green. Yeah. So like more of a not the khaki that they used to use, but actually like a, a more militant. Because in my mind, that? it doesn't look green at all to me from here. Is it in just... my brain, here's the deal, Greg. Because that looks more like it's, the Ghostbusters gray. Because my suit that is might even, be the Ghostbusters. My gray. suit is even too khaki. Because like when I was doing this years in two thousand three, two two thousand two, yeah. When I was doing two thousand two, eyeliner on. The problem was like like there they, to get it the way you wanted, you had to do a whole bunch of cosplay shit I didn't ha want to do. Of dying things and bond. Like yeah. I, I I don't have 
the Ghostbuster elbow pads, which are really volleyball knee pads, because they only sold them in white, and you'd have to dye them gray, and I'm like, I'm just going to do it black, because I already had the black uh, utility belt, and I was like, I'll just do that. I'm going to make it my own. I was going to make it my yeah. own. See, okay, Kevin, that's perfect. Can you go back to the three? The three shot of this bad boy? Right there. Yeah, click on that. Let's click on that image. So, here's what I think happened. I think that's the original color, right? Yeah. And I think if you go up, that is from two, but when they color corrected the film, it made it more gray. I think the oh, black's okay. going to be too dark. I think it was probably the actual, like, um, like I don't know what it's called, uh, forest green or whatever it is, the military yeah, green. And I think it actually ended up in the final, once they were finally done with the color correct, being a little bit more gray. Mm, interesting. Because I think the black's going to be too bad. Having said that, though, I've seen them in an person, all, black, all black flight suit. Well, I mean, you dope. look at the black flight suit they're showing here. It isn't. It isn't even you look black. Like it's like gray. That's that's the one I ordered. Yeah, this is the, literally the one I ordered. I feel like that's going to be that's a gonna, little too. It's going to read well, a little too dark on camera. Good, though. Well, it With is the white patch. I'm going to have the. I'm going to have the, I'm gonna no, have the gray be, It's going to be freaking nasty. It's going to be hot. It's going to be freak nasty. Yeah. I don't know. Because in my brain, here's my pitch for Ghost. My lay, it on, lay it on me. Right. Yeah. We take it potentially out of New York. I know it's an iconic New York thing, but maybe we take it out. At this point, Ghostbusters has been franchised. But now, of course. If it's franchised, there's a militant arm of the army. What? A branch of the army, or a branch of the, the, the military, rather, okay. is now doing this, and they're the ones that are kind of the bad guys, and they're the using ghost ghosts as weapons. Does that make sense? Fuck. I knew that they would go and try to ghosts as fucking, fucking do it. Ghosts as weaponized ghosts. WMDGs. Weaponized I ghosts of mass destruction ghosts. You see what I'm saying? I do. I do. <laughs> that, that totally So whatever the Ghostbusters core has to pick up the mantle and go fight that, because sure. they're, not, they're trying to figure out why those ghosts are attacking certain people. And they also have to battle the ghosts. And Slimer's back. Slimer drives a cab this time. Nope, he did that in the last one. Slimer drives a bus this time. He did that in number two. Slimer just hangs out with us and is our pet dog who sometimes uh, goes and gets his Diet Coke. Okay. Cannonball. I mean, up until the Diet Coke part, that was real Ghostbuster Slimer. Was it? Yeah. No, I'm nothing. This I'm is devoid the problem of good ideas. I'm with devoid of good ideas. Ghostbusters as a franchise, talk. right? Okay, and I've talked about this before. Yeah. I don't think on camera. Though. Yeah. I obviously had dreaded for decades the inevitable reboot of Ghostbusters. Yeah, of course. Because I was like, don't do this. You know it's going to happen, but don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And they do it. And I'm like, all right, oh, Paul Feet, he's a, good, he's a good director. I like the cast. Let's see what happens. It didn't work out. The reason being, I think, is this. You just took your childhood and kicked it right in the teeth. No, I'm not going to do that. It's more the fact that I don't know. And uh, chat, correct me if I'm wrong. People on YouTube, correct me if I'm wrong. It. I don't know if Ghostbusters has a clear enough definition of itself as a film or an IP to lend itself to iterations and sequels. Because, like, the movie you're pitching is, like, such an action-weird thing, right? Yeah. And what I, when I think of another Ghostbusters movie, I always think about, I always think about what I would want to do is I get famous, I become a director, I'm working on, I just watched that show, uh, The ha Haunting of Hill House. Yeah. I, I remember when I saw It, I thought of this too. Great movie. What I would do is like, great guys, we have one shoot day where we've convinced Sony to bring the Ecto-1 and I got some local Ghostbusters. And just to get a DVD extra to put on there of these like really serious fucking things and then having like the car roll up and people, uh, Ghostbusters walk in. That's all I want is one shot. Because I can sit here and tell you, here's a great Spider-Man story. Uh, yeah, yeah. Here's my Superman story. Here's, I can rattle them off. Here's what an uh, Uncharted game would be if I was going to do that again, right? Here's what an Infamous game would be. When you're like, great, what's your idea for another Ghostbusters movie, game, comic, whatever? I'm like, I don't, I don't really, I don't really crave See, that. I think you're too close I don't really to it. Crave I think that. you're too close to it. Yeah. And I think that, I think that what the biggest problem they had with the newest Ghostbusters mm -hmm. was that they tried to make, kind of do too much of a remake. They tried yeah. to take too many of the things from the original Ghostbusters and update them. I don't think you do that. <laughs> I think my pitch for it is something in the action sci-fi horror genre. Where, like, when I think about the elements that I liked most about the original uh, Ghostbusters, there was there were parts that were actually scary. There were parts that were actually dipping a toe in horror. There were parts that were, like, it was very much sarcastic. It was very much dry. I like all that. I think you can just take those elements, update it with a new story, broaden out the, the overall world, and still have it be impactful. The biggest problem is you just got to get away from being compared to the original one. Yeah. You're always, it's always going to happen. But if you show someone something completely different, be like, this is just happening in the same world. Because like, if you think about it, if, if we discovered that ghosts were a thing in the 80s, what would that look like now? That's a fascinating thing. Sure. That could be cool to do. But under no circumstances do you let Bill Murray come back to set no. with that fucking hat. No. Don't do it. No. You don't fucking do no, it. No, not at all. He wears the hat. You go, Bill, I respect you. I've waited my entire life to hang out with you and do a scene with you. Get the fuck out. 
Yeah. That's what you And he'd be like, I respect you too. Get out. You'll never work in this town again. Yeah. And then I'd be like, nobody can get a hold of you. Nobody's going to fucking know. Exactly. Also, are you even on Twitter? Do you even fucking know what Twitter is, Bill? I don't Are you He verified? knows what it is. Can we check and see if Bill's verified well, Bill on Instagram? Bill not on Twitter. He's not on, he, well, he, does he do Instagram? Is he on Instagram? Exactly. Him and his brothers How opened like a know? new restaurant slash golf course or some shit, and that, that they have a, a, a account on Twitter. They're awesome. I just watched Stripes last night. It's a great movie. <laughs> it's such a fucking good. No, movie. that's the thing about Ghostbusters. Like, so I, honestly, it's like when you sit around and think about. It, I think it would be interesting, and I know this is weird, but like they oh, are. What if the ghost? You did a Ghostbusters movie, but it's more of just like yeah, it is a he's rom. Huh? That can't be him. That no, is no, not, that's him. not him. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm saying. saying. He's not. Okay, but that has forty one thousand followers. Well, yeah, people are desperate really to find Bill Murray. It, yeah. yeah, they want it to be him. Also, there's one, I don't know if it's that one, but there's one that like tweets funny stuff that says it's fake Bill Murray, and you're like, maybe this is real Bill Murray. It might be. Because this seems like something Bill Murray would do. This description shit. says, I am not Bill Murray. Yeah. But that's, yeah, that's but the one you see tweet funny stuff all the time. That you could definitely see. 514,000 fucking followers. Double stuffed Oreos should be called Oreos, and regular Oreos should be called Diet Oreos. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> but like, what if the go, you know, you do a Ghostbusters movie, Retweet and it's just their thing. job. It's just their job. They're you know they're doing something else, and like they, sure there's some something happening that's like whatever. That's what I'm saying. Like right, you can't have th- that. And that's the hard part, right? Is that obviously one of the reasons why we love the original Ghostbusters is because it was an origin story. We fucking love origin stories. We love being introduced to this world of the ghosts through the eyes of these numbskulls that can barely function in in the private sector. Sure, right? But. That's not going to be impressive anymore. Yeah. What if it was just their job? What if these guys were government workers and they're working for this ghost core and they discover a nefarious plot and the ghosts are like, just it's just a reality of our of our life. Yeah. That could be a fun pond in which to swim. That's all I'm saying. Okay. It's a fun little, little sandbox we can play in was the actual metaphor I was looking for, not the pond. The pond I just went into made it work. Backing out now, like the sandbox a little bit more. It'd be cool just to do, I, let's, let's throw it all away, kind of. It, yeah. It's been franchised, it's been years, whatever, and it is just like, we're doing a hardcore, rated R horror movie. that Like, they're the Ghostbusters, but they're trying to bust some horror See, I think, I think, I love where your head's at. Rated R, horror, comedy. Still comedy. Comedy's so tough, but, man. Well, I, so but tough I to say walk that comedy, line. I say comedy much in the same way the original Ghostbusters was a comedy. Where I remember when Tim Washington goes, I don't understand, it wasn't funny, and I'm like, it's not funny. It's not laugh out loud funny. It's these characters are making light of these situations because they don't know how to deal with what's going on and yeah. they're kind of assholes. You know? Yeah. They're kind of irredeemable characters that don't really have story arcs. So are you getting the orange shoe? Is that what you decided? <sighs> it's either Dude, orange. Live it. Live it. The, I think I, I, here's my thing. I don't know if I can get, go outside and let, like, I'm a purist. Mm-hmm. Let me just explain to you right Sure. Now, okay. I gotta get. While you do this, I want to find something to, that might bring it all together. But go ahead. That's fair. What I think I'm gonna do is build the suit that you have right now, okay. so that we can go out together as Ghostbusters, and then for the second suit next year, go ape shit with it. I feel like really what I need is the suit from the one, the suit from two, the suit from three, so that I can take it out of the street, uh, put some gasoline on it, fire, you oh, know, Jesus. light it on fire sure. for my Instagram, and be like, this is what I think of you, Paul Fig. And then, man, why are you taking it so personal to Paul? I love Paul Figure, actually. I think Bridesmaids is fucking hilarious. But, uh, and then I think I'll build something zany. Like, Ghostbusters Mark III suit sure. is going to be nasty. Okay. Mark I and Mark II, I think, have classic. to be you're a classic. Stay, you're going to stay on Mark on III, Mark IV. Like, in a perfect world, and I asked you this the other day, I said, like, would you, if you had a third room, what would it be? You said, absolutely, all the Ghostbusters outfits ready to fucking rock and roll. Yeah, like, it'd be, I wanted to, I do one day want, like, the Bat Cave of Ghostbuster suits. I was like, it's killing me right now that, like, you know, the proton packs are chilling in there. I gotta get that home. Kevin's already looking for whatever the next iteration of our office is going to be. We can have a whole room that's the prop room yeah. and a section of it that looks like, and Kevin, I want it to look exactly like uh, Tony Stark's Iron Man suits from Iron Man 3. Sure. Where it goes down into the little hallway. House party. And it's just a, 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 a never ending circle. You know yep. that plexiglass oh. th- to make those little domes. Exactly, not super expensive. I There's two things them. that I want. That all Ghostbusters costumes. Of course. Of so course. when I have to suit and my name, and then it goes. If we can have some sort of mechanized system like they have the laundry mat that goes zzz, and brings me my suit that I want, where I just hit the button. That didn't seem like possible. That, but take that off. Right. We do the uh, Diet Coke fridge, of course. of course, and then also the vault from the 1989 Batman, where for whatever reason he had the bat suit in there. Like, if someone stole a bat suit, that gave them superpowers, but it didn't really because it was just a rubber suit. But he still had it in a fucking vault. It was amazing. You've never seen it? Don't worry about it. I've seen it's not, it I can't find it. But people have, they do cosplay as the real Ghostbusters, and when they do that, they make the real Ghostbusters the cartoon proton pack. Which is like that, that like, you know, 
uh, not navy, but not sky blue, blue, and like it's more colorful. And like mm. you put that on an orange jumpsuit, you'd be fucking hot. That was the one dude. Egon had, uh, like the, the, the white pompadour. Hair, right? yeah, 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 the pompadour. Yeah, the pompadour. He was blonde. I yeah. love that. I love that. Yeah, that's right, because they were kind of like sky blue, right? Real yeah. Oh, see, yeah, this is the shit right here. Because you can have some fun with it. Yeah, go ahead and throw this up, Kev. Uh, but this, like, this is obviously them. Yeah, this is like not the best. Time. Deconstructing it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly. Because she's in pink. But lavender, she's doing awesome. she's doing the Janine thing, and or well, I'm sorry, gr- woman on the left is doing Janine, woman on the right is doing Spangler. When Janine, of course, went in, it would be actually eventually J- they made Janine a Ghostbuster, which is great. Click after, of course, she had to do. They did the whole dream sequence where the guys were stuck in the dream and couldn't be the Ghostbusters mm-hmm. anymore. Her dream was to be a Ghostbuster, and they all recognized that. And then took a couple seasons in real Ghostbusters, but they made her an official Ghostbuster, just like they did Lewis Tully when they introduced him after uh, uh, Ghostbusters Two. Can we click on the one right next to it? The real Ghostbusters cosplays. Now, see that guy's got the right color. What color is that? Do you see that second color right there? Yeah. That's the right color. Well, what that's the that? right color for the Egon from. That's you, the, that's from two. No, no, that is that's Egon from the cartoon. Oh, okay, okay, that's what you're saying. So they just had a different. I mean, go, go, Kevin. Give me a Ghostbusters two costume check here. Image search. The thing about the just Ghostbusters go costume the tab you're on. that I feel like you've nailed is that you always have a Halloween costume, oh, and it's yeah. always going to look better than everyone else's that's Halloween true. costume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's great about it. Yeah, I'm 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 excited. Uh, so as you know, Extra Life coming up mm-hmm. November eighth. Is that right? That sounds right. I think it's November 3rd. Whatever. November 3rd, yeah. The f- first Saturday in November, we're doing Extra Life, 24 <laughs> hours of gaming for the Children's Miracle Network. We do it for uh, UCSF uh, Benioff Hospitals here in San Francisco. I'm excited that on October 31st this year, I'm blowing off work. Not going to be here for either shows. And I'm going to the Children's Hospital to do a trick-or-treat event with them where they pair me up with a, a kid in the hospital and I walk around and trick-or-treat with them. It's going to be me and Jen in Ghostbuster outfits. And I am excited, of course... Obviously, it's a cool charity. It's a cool hospital and stuff. I'm more excited to get there and kick the shit out of every other adult because my costume will be so much better than theirs. There's, there's all these stupid kids. I'm a doctor, boy. Oh, yeah, you I'm fucking a, asshole. I'm gonna, Way be, to try. Fuck, I'm gonna be lit up, Way making to try. noise and shit. I, well, I really hope some dude comes in with like crazy Iron Man like <laughs> <laughs> They come in with the suit that yeah, yeah, yeah. it's that guy from YouTube that's been building the Iron Man suit for like eight years. Is Have you seen this, that guy? Or somebody comes in yeah, with an even more yeah, accurate yeah, yeah. Ghostbusters costume. <laughs> is this what uh, you were talking about? Yeah, I mean, that's a gigantic version that I would not be down with. That looks way too. That is not to scale. You're right, obviously. But I was saying search Ghostbusters uh, 2 costume and show that. We never yeah, talked yeah, about yeah, that. that All right, cool. Is that it? So, yeah. So, like, that's, that's what we're dope. talking about, right? But, I mean, that's a, that's a black suit, but it's grayish. But it's also because how dark is black. And, like, they also probably washed it and wore it in the same way I think my khakis got washed and worn to make know. the other suit. I feel like the black's going to be really dark. I feel like that's going to be a really dark suit. I feel like that is that green that just got colored. Like, click on the guy right... Are you right, talking about the green? Click on the guy, like, uh, go down. Uh, it's one all the way over. All the way over to the, uh, to the right, sorry. The other way. Right there, that guy. That, I feel like, is the color. That's not green though. That's yeah. gray, for sure. Yeah, for sure. But it's not. We haven't discovered that Austin. suit yet. Are people? We haven't actually? discovered that suit Are you yet. Sure. I feel like that's the suit that we were looking at. Yeah, but it's not black. That's definitely not black. That's not a black jumpsuit. I still think it could be though. I think you're gonna get. I look at. Look, okay, Kevin, stop. Like that's a black jumpsuit up, right there. Kevin, one, one up. That's what yours is gonna look like. One up, and then click on that Harold Ramis right there in the the hat. Yeah. Like, that's not the same thing as that other guy that the guy's wearing. Up. Yeah, it is. It's just a darker shot. It's just colored. No, but this does look black. Greg is right it's about this. Definitely this definitely gray. Black. This, is this definitely gray? Is that what you're saying? Look, click on the... Look, click on the I don't know. I'm lost. I'm lost. Because, look, if Cause you go up... Like, this dude's jacket is not gray. Well, first off, that dude's... Ivan Reitman. Fucking show How some respect. fucking dare you? I need you to get down on the ground and spank yourself. Oh, oh no doctor. And film it and then put it on my Instagram. Nick, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Kevin, if you say again, it yeah, makes it sound one. like like that. I mean, when are you gonna get a lot of people in the chat are like, "It's navy gray. It's not gr- It's not blue." It might have been the navy blue. Look, it is you, not blue. If you go down to that navy blue one right underneath it, Kev, see that? That might be that color. It is, mm. Mm. You you see, but it, it looks good. like it it's, it's more good. like this color. Yeah, but what the fuck is that? Like Lockhart Tactical Military? Po- oh, maybe it is a police flight suit. I don't know. Here's what we need to do. This is why I might get away from this. My, this is my anal retentiveness, which yeah. fucking drive me nuts. That's why I say we'll just get a go crazy orange. Yeah, well, yeah, it's true, too. Go nuts. Not go to red. mention, I'm not against just having a dark black suit. I'm going to be high. I mean, again, if I were to do the Ghostbusters movies, they would have three costume changes. Sure. 
And it would sell be them action figures. Sell them action That's figures. That's what I'm saying. Here's what happens, right? They got to fight a ghost at nighttime. They wear the dark ones. Daytime's khaki, and then they have the Arctic camo <laughs> for when they have to fight cold ghosts. Wait. Nice. I like that. <laughs> they want to blend in. Remember how, like, when we were kids Why and are they in. Camoing? Against these ghosts. Because the ghosts can't see camo. Everyone knows that. They're like, T-Rex. great point. You do know that. That Here, is well documented. Here's what I'm saying. You remember when uh, Batman the Animated Series was a thing? Of course. How, with, how can remember, I forget? Remember one of those toys started rolling out? Yes. You had Batman. Yes. And then they had Aqua Batman. Oh, yeah. Fucking Arctic Batman. None of which were in the original no. cartoon. No. But no. Did no, that no. matter to us? No. No. I needed all of them. Yeah. Fuck you. Give them all to Give me. Give it to me. I need it real bad. I need bad, they say, you know? <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Kind of Funny Morning Show. We do this on twitch.tv slash Games each and every day, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you guys so much for being in the chat right now and bearing with that. Um, I don't know why we talked about Ghostbusters costumes for why not? 32 minutes. What's everybody else got to do? I was setting up a joke there. Sorry. I don't know why we talked about that. Oh, wait, I do, because it's our fucking show and we love Ghostbusters. Bam, 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 bam. Plus, it's Halloween time coming up soon. I want to know what you guys are going to dress like for Halloween. Let me know in the comments of this video if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're in the chat right now, let me know what you're going to be. You're going to be a Ghostbuster? You're going to be cool? Or you're going to be something stupid? If you're a Ghostbuster, like Venom. Uh, uh, well, because I'm a loser. That's why, too. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Thanks for explaining that away with your fucking lazy writing. Lazy. People who wrote Venom. If you're going to be in Toronto, come as a Ghostbuster. Yeah, it's going to be fun. We'll let you know more details about that. Of course, this episode of the Kind of Funny Morning Show is brought to you by Simply Safe and Hymns. Uh, it's 11.32. See, and I'm blowing mine up. This is the one I ordered. It's not jet black like that guy's was. It's got the black and gray. Not to mention, again, the guy, it. remember, Ted House, Hip Albatross, the Arizona Ghostbuster who yeah. made my Proton Pack so and is, is more it. obsessive than me said this is the one to get. All right, that's the one to get then. If it works, I'm just going to copy you. I'm gonna let you do all the hard, the heavy lifting, and then I'm just gonna swoop in and take the glory. I don't mind. But I also get on want your first one. Be, the first one's easy. Just get going. I also kind of want mine to be like a like a sexy oh, Ghostbuster like, costume, like Darcelle's. So like, like well, when she does like the cosplay did, Ghostbusters. Did she, has she done Ghostbusters? Yes. Can we Google that? Is that illegal? Yeah, I yeah, I think. Can you sh- how much you can? How much can we show on Instagram? Can Google Darshell Ghostbusters? Just show me. Uh, and and Jess did one too, uh, like last year I think, and then Darshell did it this year. She just, Darshell just put one up I saw yesterday, or two days ago on Instagram where she had slime on her fanny. She had slime on her fanny? Mm-hmm. It's nasty. <laughs> I like where they get slime on the fanny. See, there, that's the one I was oh, talking about. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now, but like, what, what is, where's the line? I, I don't fine. know. I, I don't, don't know what the line is. I think we're fine. But it, there's stuff up here that we probably shouldn't. No, do. definitely then not. Then open it well, in its own fine. tab? No, no, no. Look, if you can show all this shit on Instagram, you can show it on, on Twitch. I can you? I don't like this. That's not true at all. Why is, why is, it, why is the Instagram directing you to Reddit? Uh, I guess that's where it's posted. Oh, uh, because, uh, I like, mm, I like no. going to, go to Darshell's uh, Instagram. Yeah, that's probably on her Instagram. It, I, it is, I, I follow her, that's where I saw this. This is how I knew so much about it. Also, I, it, when she did this, she's done another shoot with one of her friends, that's when I followed up with the response, this is on Twitter, of, you guys missed the golden opportunity to collaborate with my wife, and I included the photo of Jen's sexy slimer costume from last year. The one year. where she fell over on the couch and couldn't get out. Yeah. Yeah, that was the best. <laughs> that was the best. All right. There you go. That should be. I fun. feel like we can show this. That feels fine. I, I don't feel think. like. I, I, Look, well, you know what? You're right. I don't. I, it's not worth. Every go to Instagram.com slash Darshell underscore store underscore Stevens. Everyone knows Darshell. Well, Filthy casual. It. Okay. Well, yeah, well there it is. Well, he was he was worried, worried about, about things picture. in the background. He was worried about background. things in the background. Copy, background. Copy that. That's fine. Yeah, I, I I respect where you're at. We love you, Kevin. that. Start shell doing it, right? Did she make that herself, the proton I mean, pack? I have to imagine. No, that's the, that's the pack-in uh, for the female costume. That's the one they used in the new movies. Oh. This has 23,616 likes. Just like the amount of views this episode will get. Because now Kevin can officially use Darshell in the thumbnail. We just won. Uh, you know what I mean? Can we reach out to Darshell and tell her that we're doing it? Don't ask. Just call just her. Tell. That's fine. I don't think she's going to give a shit. Um... All right, guys, quick tip reminder. Uh, Kev, don't even worry about the graphic. Uh, if you guys want to tip us at the $5 or above level, we will take those tips. Uh, we're, we're, we're past housekeeping at this point, Kev. We've we're too, we're too deep in the we're show. We're too deep point. in the show. Uh, first tip comes today from a Remast. Give us five bucks. It says, fun clip, eight seconds, no sound needed. Dog, praise the Great Wall of Kevin uh, gave us that. There you go. You're starting to work it out for us. Um, Kev, we'll check that out and let you know if it's good or not. Uh... Evan Nur underscore Twitch gave us 100 cheers. Unfortunately, that does not meet our threshold, so I will not be reading. I will not be reading. Womp, womp, womp. 
Cheers. Side Screamer gave us 520 cheers. Said, sorry, didn't mean to give you guys cheers. That was an accident. Um, okay, cool. Well, I appreciate that either way. Happy accident, as they say. Just like happy me. Happy accident. I was a happy accident. No, you weren't. Uh, no, I was planned. I was going to say. Elena and Big Lou, they were on the hunt for another one. They saw oh, Matt coming oh, together and they're oh. like, this Let's one is informing the right. This one's not <laughs> this, coming together. This Otter Pop didn't freeze correctly. Let's go buy another pack. <laughs> this oh, one is oh. not doing what we want. Yeah, this one, what is it? Oh my god, yes, play this. I, I don't know what this is. This is the best of everything. I just enjoyed it for whatever reason. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got a bone in his mouth. I yeah. thought it was opening it. I thought it was, yeah, for a second too. Oh, that's really great. Uh, Downey Downerson said, uh, just checked with Tim equals Jay Getty. <laughs> it's still verified <laughs> on Instagram. But Greg is not. Here's a fun clip of an animal that's under 10 seconds long. Uh, is this that one? Uh, yeah. He, we got to watch it because that was Six what, seconds. That was, that was no, good. We're on a roll. Yeah. He gave us the good. There we go. The goods. <laughs> Get out of there. No. no, no, that was a bad no. one. That was a bad Underscore. one. Underscore, understand me. Uh, Listen to me and understand me. No. Send in more cheers. That wasn't worth it. No, that was terrible. Ron Santino gave us 500 cheers. Said, happy Wednesday, champ the champ. Guys, I need your help picking a costume. Richard Attenborough's uh, character from Jurassic Park or Jeff Goldblum's. I feel like Richard's is more recognizable, but I don't want to disrespect is Papa that, Goldblum. Is that, is Richard Attenborough the... Well, Spared spare no Park. expense. Yeah, okay. Spared no expense. Yeah. yeah, that is him. Um, I got to go with Goldblum. Just sizzle chest. Here's what you do. do oh. You go, you lay down everywhere you go, and sizzle chest. See, what I was going to do is sizzle chest, and then you do that thing where you make the fake legs, and you have this like thing you hold the oh, whole yeah, night that like really has good. the legs oh, that's, there. That's, that's really too good. Much work. No, well, you know, do you want to have a good costume, Kevin, or do you want to be Kevin? What, I had a great costume last you year. You do great do really question. well. You do a good holiday. Right. It's a great question that he's asking you, you, Kevin. Did I? Well, I think you did. I don't know if you're wrong. Oh, yeah, you're right. Ryan T. from Tennessee says, hey, Nick, check this color out for the Ghostbusters 2 suit. I think... Yeah, that's that's very right. close. That does, that, like really that, you, that does look really good. That does look really good. That seems like the one you bought. I won't lie to you. This is another one with the weird like, leg hole. You see that? Well, yeah, that's an official. It's that's for, how it's gonna look, man. You you put a, a catheter in your pee pee tip, Jesus. and then it goes out there but and it just drains into the floor. For? Pen. I'm not joking. I think it's for, it's for a pen. Why would there be a pen right here? Again, you're in the cockpit, Kevin. I understand how this doesn't make sense. Miller, that's like dick stabbing. Like yeah, that's a dick stabbing. Angle. If only any of us had served our country and been men, we would have answers for this. But I'll we're tell you, not. There's, there's we're the children chat. who are arguing about what costumes we're going to make. Someone in the chat has worn this and understands what it's for. They'll let us know. If not, let's order four of these and let's all be Ghostbusters. I mean. That looks dope. That that suit does look like the color that I'm thinking of right now. It, I agree that it does as well. But again, I'm saying if Ted House said, hey, this is what I need to get. The, um, my thing is this. I think you ordered that suit. I think oh. I think that's the suit. That's probably the color you ordered. And then the, the picture is just a little too dark. Because that's the problem. They take a picture of this guy. Who the hell knows how it gets compressed or if sure, it was under sure. or underexposed, right? It, it all depends on how it's lit. So in the camera and the optics and the sensor. <laughs> Kevin, no, slack me that link. I want to look at. I want to get into this. Slack in that link, Kevin. While Slacking. you're while you're doing that, uh, remember, guys, if you want to give us tips, we'll do that. But before we do that, I want to take a couple seconds uh, to give away a couple games. Uh, and of course, when we give away games, we have to take a word from our sponsors. Our first sponsor today, who is bringing you this, probably the best episode we've ever done on the morning show. To be honest with you, is Simply Safe. Here's why we're big fans of Simply Safe home security. Simply Safe is ready for anything that gets thrown at you. If a storm takes out your power, Simply Safe is ready. An intruder cuts your phone line. Guess what? Simply Safe also ready. Say they destroy your keypad or siren, Simply Safe will still get you the help you need. Sure, maybe it's overkill. Maybe you don't need to be ready for every worst case scenario, but that's what makes Simply Safe's home security system so great. It's always ready. Simply Safe could cost an arm and a leg, but it doesn't. Instead, they only charge you what's fair. And what's fair is 24-7 professional security monitoring for just $14.99 a month. There's no contracts, no hidden fees. Uh, we recommend Simply Safe to, to everyone we know because you gotta check it out. We checked it out. Kevin put it in there. Super easy to set up. He's got his phone uh, right now. If uh, you know, if we're gone and the alarm goes off, he can pop it up and we can see who's in here. Can't do anything about it, but we'll be able to we see. We know someone's here. We know someone's here. We can call the cops, all that jazz. It's fantastic. Um, Go to simplysafe.com slash morning today. That's simplysafe.com, simplysafe.com slash morning uh, to protect your home and family today. S I M P L I S A F E dot com slash morning. Simplysafe.com slash morning. Go check it out. It's a really cool system. Uh, our next sponsor for the show, bringing you the morning show today, is Hims, a wellness brand for men. You guys have heard me talk about this ad nauseum. I, I use these products when I was in my early 20s. Noticed that the old chrome dome was getting a little bit bigger. Starting to lose my hair. Wanted to do something about it. Wish I had a solution like forhims.com, a one-stop shop 
for, I got to read it right, uh, hair loss, skin care, and sexual wellness, all for men. I wish I had that because it destigmatizes the hair loss for guys. Uh, I definitely recommend these products. I'm using right now uh, the shampoo, uh, the vitamins, and the finasteride, which is a pill that I take. And if you're saying, hey, that's crazy, you're taking a pill, what's going on there? I went online, got the doctor to look through and prescribe this for me, you answer a questionnaire, it's all in the up and up. Super easy, super quick. You don't have to waste your time going to a doctor. You can get it right here. If you're worried about it, go to forhims.com uh, slash morning show to check out what they got to offer. That's F O R H I M S dot com slash morning show. Forhims.com slash morning show. Uh, right now, listeners get a trial month of hymns for just $5 today, right now, while supplies last. See website for full details. This would cost hundreds if you went to the doctor or a pharmacy. And trust me, I've spent hundreds on it before. This is a good deal. Uh, we recommend it. All right, uh, today's winner of the giveaway is from the Twitch chat, Michael Odeon. Odeon has won Vera Swings on Steam. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. Thank you so much for that. Um, I, I want, here's what I've done. What do you got? To settle my own OCD, I've ordered the Navy one as well. So we will have a black one and the Navy one, black, dark Navy one in here to see which. Can you send me yours? Which, huh? Can you send me yours? I want to see which one you got. Sure. I guess I can, I found it here, right? Yeah, I, they have it. Here, I, I got it. I'll send it over to you. Okay. This is, I mean, I ordered from somebody different than this, but. Bum, bum, second, 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 The thing is this, I want, and I'm sorry if I'm copying you. Uh, I don't but know I what you're talking about. You're be, making me live my dream. I want there to be a uniformity. I'm living my so dream. So if you get the right one, you let me know what that is, that'll be marked Again, two. Yeah, I'm saying, you're getting too far ahead of yourself. Just focus on the one. Focus yeah. on the number one. I'm going to go, I'm going khaki. Yeah. Yeah, mine and, looks great. Yeah. Yours looks fantastic. If I could get it, I don't think there's an Amazon Prime way to get it. But also, I need to put the See, I feel like stuff. this is a much better picture. So throw this up, Kev. This is legitimately the one I've ordered. This black one. And I feel like it is not the like uh, inkwell black that other guy had. And I just feel like I, I got to see it with my own eyes to see how, if the navy blue is too blue. You, you, can't, you, you also, can't have the blue hue. I understand that when we look at these Ghostbusters 2 things, like, oh, yeah, see? Put them side by side, Kev. Okay. He's working on it. He's working on it. It's not Kev, helping. Fighting. A side by side comparison. It's fighting back, Nick. There it is. There it is, baby. See now, can we do a third window? Yeah, where you gotta we do see a third actual... window. But then, he, but then it's the lighting, all right? It's lighting. I mean, obviously, look. To be honest, the the picture on the right is a lot more contrasted. It's a lot less lit. Is what I'm trying to say. A lot, a lot more. The lighting's not as good. The one on the right, a lot more fleshed out. You're seeing a lot more light actually reflecting from the costume, but that is also because you know the costume what? is a lighter shade. Wait, hold on, hold on. Like, this very much looks like the right suit. See, that's Fuck. what I'm saying. There's too much blue in the navy right identical, there. Identical, identical. You know what? You might be right. And I think after one or two washes, that's gonna come in real And well. that's what- my, I would wash you, it and dry it a couple times so it gets, it fades a little, fades a bit. and then you're good. Is it blue? All right, we're doing it, guys. We're canceling right. the order on the blue one. The okay. blue one is too blue. Can we all agree, Kevin? Blue I still think blue would be dope. I, think I, mean, that's that's I agree with that. But see, yeah, that's, yeah. Again, in my ultimate Ghostbusters pitch for this movie, there are other Ghostbusters around the world, like Harry Potter houses, where yeah. they have different colors. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So the New York Ghostbusters, obviously khaki, right? Yeah. You got the LA Ghostbusters, maybe there's something cool like an orange or, I don't know. They're, they got a cool flair to them because people have better style in LA than everyone else on the planet. Sure. Well, shout out to Cali, West Coast, Best Coast. Uh, maybe in the Midwest, they're blue. You see what I'm saying? I'm not arguing that. I'm just saying Alaska, I don't want Arctic camo. your life. You know what I mean? Alaska, the Ghostbusters. Cancel on the blue. Cancel it. I don't want your life. I don't want your life. I don't want your life. What movie is that from? Well, the, I don't want your life. The, it's a line from Varsity Blues, yep. but I have no idea who your what accent that is or who you're delivering. It was that. James Vanderbilt. That is accent. the worst. Do it again. I don't want your life. That is the worst James. Ba I don't want your life. I don't want your life. I don't want your you're life. Not, no, that's Emperor doing it now. That's star. He nailed the emperor. He nailed the emperor. He did nail the emperor. No one's arguing that. When's the last time you watched Varsity Blues? Honestly, a couple years ago, because I Dennis love Varsity it. Blues. Love movie. What if we threw that on in the back right now? We got lunch ordered <sighs> in. Get Mikey, we hang out back there and watch Varsity Blues. Tweeter? <laughs> Tweeter? Tweeter? Tweeter. Or go to Concussion. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. No, that was that was Billy Bob. That was Billy Bob. Tweeter was, was Tweeter was, was Scott uh, Yep, exactly. Yeah. We're yeah, like, yeah, what yeah. the hell is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was great. Such a great movie. It is a good movie. I bet it's one of those movies from our, well, actually, I guess I watched yeah, it. it's not streaming anyway. I feel like a few, I have it on DVD, don't worry about that. Didn't yeah. they? I would never throw this away. They tried, I know they did a Friday Night Lights show. Yeah. Did they try to make a Varsity Blues show as well? That's a great question. No? Because I feel Mikey's like they did. saying no, and I feel like they did no. too, but Mikey's saying no. 
That's a, that's a big mistake. That's a huge mistake. That's a missed opportunity. That is a big missed opportunity. Yeah, but it wasn't. You know what I mean? It didn't have John Moxon. No, I just had similar. Like, similar? Yes. But I need John Moxon. I need Mox the Fox. Paul Walker in that movie, too. Paul Walker is in that, that movie. Wasn't he the forget. dick? Was he the asshole? No, he was the star quarterback who got hurt. Oh, that's right. And then Van James Vanderbeek gets Yeah, that's when up. he steps up. Steps and it up turns out, oh my God, Mox can throw the football really well, too. Holy crap. Anyone can throw a football. You see Conor McGregor trying to throw a football the other day? No. Didn't work out so well for yeah. him. Sick to fighting, Conor. All right. But he, he smiled like it was the best thing on the planet. Conor's smile just brings everything back. He can lose, but then he goes, he looks up with that, that cocksure smile. Ah, and he does that like the iris. Ah, and everyone just loves him. He got fined, too, for the fight? Is that right? I, I don't think he did. Okay. Yeah. Kevin, I'm giving you something you got to throw up uh, for Nick to see and everyone else to see. All right. It's in your control slack. All right. Uh, just as we're going, Charles Jacobson. Oh, it's so good. Charles Jacobson doing some uh, of the Lord's work oh, right. here. right. There it is. And, like, that's, that's what it could sexy. look like. That, you know what I mean? That's sexy. That's an artist rendition of what Ghostbusters Nick could look like, even though there's no ghost patch on any of that. I respect that um, this could you. also just go for Top Gun. Yeah, it could be me. This is Top Gun. That's 100% Top Gun. It says Top Gun right there. Can we zoom in on that? You're right. I do see Top Gun. Uh, I clearly see the patch that says Top Gun now. What I want to do is Wait on me. just have more excuses to dress up like Ghostbusters. Now, this has been, last year, no excuses. This year, three. Fantastic. Yeah. We had the shoot. We had the Patreon fan mail tier, uh-huh. which you guys can get right uh-huh. now. You only have two more weeks left for that. Uh, and then we've got EGX. Yeah. EGLX. EGLX, excuse me. That's one. Be fantastic. Here's the thing is we can just do whatever we want, especially now that there's a Ghostbuster mobile game. Because I am already obsessed with the early access to Ghostbusters World. Yeah. So whenever you want to just do another party mode, we can yeah. do it. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Well. Uh, okay, bring this up. We'll do housekeeping real quick at the end of the show. <laughs> Let me try the graphic really quick. Go for it. Housekeeping, you Damn, why is it not working? I mean, are people hearing it? Yeah, they That's can That's all hear. that matters. It's for the kids. It is it for really the kids. is. That jerk off joke is for the kids. Jesus. It really is. Uh, what, what is this? Joey put this on. Joey's out of town, but she did all her homework uh, ahead of time. So let's see. There's a PAX Australia. Kind of funny best friends uh, meet up in, in Australia. Melbourne. Melbourne. Uh, 7 p.m. Saturday, uh, October 27th. I don't like how it's the 27th of October. Stop putting shit backward, guys. Uh, the Boat Builder's Yard. That sounds awesome. Now, here's the thing, of course. This is pretty much at the same time as what our EGLX off-site meet and greet will be if uh, it all works out for the Das Brothers. Mm-hmm. I'm encouraging everyone at this Australia one to also dress as Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters Worldwide. That's what my movie would be called. WW Ghostbusters Worldwide. Okay. Is that bad? No, it, was, it just took me a second. It's just WW Ghostbusters Worldwide. It would just be Ghostbusters. So is it WW Ghostbusters Worldwide? No, it would be Ghostbusters, but big WW underneath it. So instead of Ghostbusters 3 or Ghostbusters 4, just rebooting it and calling it Ghostbusters sure. it makes no fucking sense because you're still going to, uh, like... Okay. It would Kevin, just be Ghostbusters Worldwide. Can you throw back up Nick's Instagram and show the Patreon fan mail tier for October? Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, October. The yeah, picture October. of us is Ghostbusters. Yeah, there it is. The one thing we haven't commented enough on this is how great the kind of funny logo looks with the ghost coming oh, out of the yeah. D. And my question is, uh, are we going to call Rooster Teeth on their cowardly bullshit and try to sell that shirt? Uh, I think we are <sighs> just going to sell the shirt at some point. You know what I mean? That's what are I mean. We? Fuck you, I like- Louis Medina. Uh, oh, by the way, I have a version of it where it's coming out of the A, but it's not quite as cool as the no, D. No, the D looks awesome. The D looks You fucking awesome. crushed it. Nick, I know. I like how in a, you're on this Ghostbuster hype. Like, yeah, commit to that, dude. Like, I'm a, make I'm a giant thing, child. dude. Own it. Here's my here's my thing. I legitimately love Halloween, and I'm I'm just oh so disappointed all. in as myself that over the last 37 years, I've yeah. let my passion for I've let my adulthood and all these stupid ass responsibilities and all this dumb shit. Like that we have, and like being married or having a career yeah. or trying to be fit. I've let all that get in the way of you. To be fair, you haven't succeeded at any of those. You know what I mean? He's gotten exactly. fit. He's gotten fit. I mean, not where he wants to be. though. No, I want to be. I want to be. You, Jared I mean, we Leto's all saw him before. I want to be Jared Leto. I skin. didn't. I didn't. I've only ever known fit. Nick. That's true. I guess. Why? I will not be happy unless I'm Jared Leto skinny. Here's my question. By my Jared Leto skinny, I mean. Fight Club, Jared Leto takes his shirt off, and you're like, somebody give him a sandwich. Jared Leto was in Fight Club? Yeah, yeah he was dude, a pretty guy in Fight Club. shit beat out of him. I don't remember Fight Club. It's, there's a part where he gets his, the, his face beaten in, and because uh, Tyler maybe Durden wanted to like, destroy something maybe pretty. Maybe he's also, he's just gorgeous. Here's he's my question gorgeous. for you. Uh, we all know yeah. that you once put a Batman Funko Pop in your apartment, and your wife sniffed it out in five seconds. It's like, on my desk right now. Get that out of here. On the desk. 
Have you told her your idea that you're do you want to build the Ghostbuster suit and all this stuff? No. That's why he wants the new Can you please, please, please not tell her? And don't worry, everybody. She hasn't watched any of our content. Please not tell her. And then just one day, walk in from work, fucking proton, full on proton pack. It's the lights going. It's making the noises. You got, we've got a trap with dry ice in it. Like you got the smoke. Like, hey, man, I'm home from work. Oh, where can I put all this stuff? <laughs> that would not go the way you think it would. Go. No, I mean, she'd be fine with this. She's seen me come home with enough shit and like yeah. take enough shit out of the apartment to understand what we do here. She understands the job. Um, but that wouldn't stay in the apartment longer than a couple days. And that's what sucks, is that you have that room you don't use for anything. Total room. Your could, dining room. It could be the Ghostbusters You can put the mannequins in there, have the fucking things hanging, yeah, have I, the toys. I know you a mannequin in the next 15 minutes. I know you could, Kev. That's the what, what, part. What's this mannequin's name again? I forget. Bob? Bob. Bob's also uh, is similar to Spider-Man downstairs, tied up in some sort of weird bondage shit and hung from the ceiling. <laughs> Bob's not tied up anywhere. Not that you know of. Um, well, what I'm saying to you is... That room could be amazing. I'm just going to go one further is in our ultimate room where we have all of our costumes decorated sure. with downlight, beautifully yeah, yeah, perfect, yeah, yeah, yeah. all ironed yeah. and cleaned. When we walk in, can it automatically, as soon as the door opens, play the theme song from the 1989 Batman? Easily. Bam, 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 bam. And he opens it. Yeah, yeah sure. I told him. Man. He's out there. I've got to go to work. I've been saying for years what we need here is to drill bad. straight into the comic shop and have a, a fireman's uh, Ghostbusters fire. Board. I would love it if it was right there too, just right in front of the camera. <laughs> like no matter what we do, it's always just a little blurred in the camera. Yeah. So people want to know what it is. It would be awesome to have a, a hole in the ground of the to the comic store, and it would be great if we knew them and could party with them a little bit and feed them food. Now you that say if we knew them and could thing. party with them. Remember our Ghostbusters World party mode did begin with us. Unannounced walking to the comic shop and totally disrupting them mm -hmm. for 15 minutes yeah. and then well, being cool with it. Disrupting is an interesting word. There was no one in the comic shop. Well, Julie's so we doing work though. She was yeah, doing things. Yeah, yeah. She had a good time. Why? Why are you being mean to them? I'm not making a mean. I'm just saying he acts like where there was they got this fucking she hustle and bustle downstairs. There's no one in there. She was happy to see us. I, I wouldn't go that far. I think we wiped off some of the cobwebs <laughs> from the book. Hey, hey, bada bee! Hey, bada Shh. Everybody go you go to comic experience out. Let's uh, let's check back in on tips real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, serious question. Could we buy them a fridge and be like, hey, can you just start selling like the shit that we get all the time? And just be like, just keep refilling this and we'll keep buying it. I'm gonna go you one further. Uh huh. We mysteriously and anonymously give them cases of LaCroix every day until we're done with LaCroix. They'll never know who it's from, but we can say that it's from Grappler and Stogie. There you go. Good. You see what I'm saying? Not usually we'll the do MO. Little, we'll do a little imprint. Not usually the MO of Grabbler and Stogie. What is the doing Grabbler nice and Stogie thing? logo? You see what I'm saying? Is the Grabbler doing I think this? It's, I think it's the Stogie's hand coming around, the purple hand coming around, and it's Stogie's uh, like face with the Stogie in it. All right, someone out there, I need you to do the Grabbler. Grabbler? Grabbler. Grabbler and Stogie logo. How do you not know the name? <laughs> How, I mean, He's it's just not like it's up. a He's bit that we do himself. all the time. Grabbler and Stogie. Well, because I think it was, I thought it was Grappler. Like he's no, grappling he, no, he, you. But he grabs things. He's grabbing yeah, that makes things. more sense. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. But in my brain, I had grapple in my brain because I got grapple on the brain all the time. All day, every day. We should go eat Greek food for lunch. Uh, Migs Navarro, 15, has given us our final tip for today and said, going as my dad for Halloween because he's been a big part of my life. Here's a link to the costume. Uh, can you click on that, Kev? Uh, yeah, it's... Uh... Is it crazy? It, well, I mean, it's... Just... Oh, that's hilarious. Bring it up. There it is. Oh, that's, that's funny. That's, that's funny. funny. Uh, can you also do me a favor? Can you go over to Josh McCuga's Instagram? This is oh, why I, I love saw McCougar. this. Yeah, 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 it's the best. If you I guys like, aren't yeah. following Josh McCuga, you got to go follow Josh McCuga. Uh, oh. Oh, we're gonna watch that tomorrow. It's the best thing ever. Oh, so was that you put that in the wrong place? I think. Uh, no, I had it uh, as a story. I had those as a stories, but they're go I'm bumping them to Internet of the Week now. Okay, can you move them down then. They're gonna go. What's uh, that? Uh, what are we looking for? Yeah, Josh McCuga. There it is, right there. Don't don't put it equals in. And then no, click on the photo of him and his dad. Right. Him and his dad. Come on, dude. Come on, Kev. Kev. Like him and his dad. Action. Sorry. Jesus Christ. <laughs> there it is right there. Clicks on the up. guy from Ant-Man. <laughs> <laughs> him and his dad. The four people. There's I'm four sorry, people there was like in hell. Like a fight happening outside. I appreciate he that. Got this is why I love Makuga. Makuga yeah. grows a beard out just so he can cosplay as his dad. 
for his dad's 70th birthday. Yeah, that's This hot. is beautiful. That's good. That's good send, stuff. send Makuga some love. Send him some sweet, nasty love. Tell him we need him back on the show. I'm confused. Is he really so. trying to host Jeopardy, or is this just a... Is this yeah, like he a, loves Jeopardy. So is this like a Greg Miller thing, like where yeah. I try to force things to happen? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you will things into existence. Sure, sure. And sure. nine out of ten times, they fail spectacularly, but that tenth time is fucking amazing. Shirtless Spider-Man is in Spider-Man the video game. That's your, Shut that's your face. Shirtless Spider-Man's doing. You had Damn, nothing to do point. with that. I mean, I took his photos for a long time. You see that? I don't understand why you won't let me be friends with Shirtless Spider-Man and Shirtless Cowboy Guy from Red Dead. How do you want I me? Don't I don't know. I don't know what. what, what I don't know. Why don't you don't bring Shirtless uh, Spider Red Dead Guy around? Every time, more. every time Shirtless Spider-Man rolls through here, I'm not here, so I don't know what you want me to do about it. You have a great time. We talk shit about you though. You fucking piece yeah, of shit. Yeah, talk a little bit of shit about you. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen, into the old three and three. Then we'll round this out. Uh, right now, we'll take three questions, comments, or concerns from non-subscribers today, and then we'll go into subtle only mode. Jesus, I couldn't get that one out. You tried. It's okay. You know, it's, it, I start talking faster as the caffeine hits my bloodstream. I got to slow it down. Slow it down. Just slow, think it a little bit. Breathe a little bit. That's a mustache. A little, little. This is Nade's sticker. Uh, Amy Gill says, is everyone okay? Uh, I think everyone we care about is okay. If people want to get in a fight out there, fuck them. That's all I'm saying. Hell. Fuck them. Amy, where were you yesterday? Because we needed some Irish stuff translated and you weren't here. So, WTF, Amy. Uh, his name, um, excuse me, Mr. Yasman uh, has uh, has corrected me. He says his name is Shirtless Outlaw. Oh, was it? I I don't I don't I don't know. Uh, are we cutting the news stories? Yeah, they're not good anyway. YouTube yes. went down yesterday. It's back, and I'm going to use that as an excuse for why the morning show didn't do very good views yesterday. Perfect. Exactly what happened. That's why. I mean, uh, that makes total sense. This we'll watch later. No one cares about that trailer. I mean, aren't we just there done? I thought you were like wrapping up. Yeah, did Gary Whitta come in? Yeah. <laughs> Smells more pretentious in here, so I assume he did. Yeah, healthy, healthy, <laughs> healthy robot underscore says no news today, but it, with an exclamation mark, and I think he's accusing us of something. And I want you to know, this is my show. If, oh. we, don't, if we don't want to do news, uh, it's because I desperately look for news. Nothing good. Nothing good. Sorry, guys. He, he, you nailed it. Yeah. Uh, Nick says, Avor 101. Nick, what is your review of The Shining? You know, honestly, I don't think I've ever seen The Shining all the way through. What? Yeah. Mikey, you can just say what. We know you're in the back of what? the room. Yeah. So here's the deal. When I was a kid, I used to watch it on TV, but you would only watch it. It was like eight hours long on TV because there was commercial breaks. Yeah. And I never understood. I would always come in halfway through and be like, I'm so lost. I don't know. Who are these kids? Why are there twins? What's the maze? Straight through, it's very confusing. But I will say this. I will say this. I feel like I have seen The Shining. Because I've seen the Shinning episode of The Simpsons. There you go. I mean, oh, come back to this. Kind of the same. Kind of the same thing. I've seen The Shining. It's good. Yeah. Fair. Uh, Nick, are you a fan of Billy Connolly's stand up, uh, The True Goat? I can't say that I am. I'm sure it's good. I just haven't I don't think I've seen enough of it. Billy Connolly is, uh, I want to say he's the Irish guy or the British guy. Billy Connolly from, uh, he was on a bunch of sitcoms in the 80s. You'd know him if you saw him. I'm looking. Yeah. Uh, let's Billy see. Con Connolly. All right, have you seen the new Boston Dynamics Oh, video? he's from fucking Monty Python. Right? No? I think? No. Because I, I always get him confused with uh, the other guy that's not Billy Connolly from Monty Python. Is he Monty Python? No, no. Looks like I'm wrong. No, the Monty and Python guy I don't know who the fuck this dude Eric, uh, not Eric. You know Billy Connolly. We're getting in the weeds here. Hey, Nick, have you ever seen this guy's stand-up set on Netflix? Hold on. Burke Kreischer? Yeah. Yeah. Holy fuck, he's amazing. He is, um... He is phenomenal. I haven't seen his newest one. But, uh, so, Burt got big because he's he's good friends with Joe and Tom Segura. Uh -huh. And you will love it. About, I think it was two years ago. They're doing Sober October. It's like a thing for them now, which yeah. I just refuse to do. Uh, and I wasn't really invited, but I refuse to do it anyway. Uh, they You're did drinking it. more to make up for it, right? That's what I like to do. Um... Uh, they did a, uh, he's been going on the podcast for a long time, but he did, they had a big uh, workout competition between him and, and Tom Segura, and uh, he it's ended up name. losing, but he lost a ton of weight, and now uh, he's put it back on. But he always, he does all of his sets shirtless. So, Greg, you'd appreciate that. Greg, I highly recommend his stand-up. It's on Netflix, you should watch it. Bert Kershire. Kreischer. Bert Kreischer. There you go. He's funny as shit. Him and Tom Segura are fucking hilarious. I just watched uh, Rogan's Strange Times last night. Liked it. Liked it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So I wasn't gonna, I, you know, I get, I get really like, uh, I gotta kind of psych myself up to sit down for an hour comedy special. Sure. Yeah, that's why I don't do it. Yeah. So, but last night I'm like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna pull the trigger on it. You know how you kind of have to like, 
It's not that I don't want to watch it. It's just it's a commitment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, you feel that we're like, I don't want to. Yeah. An hour. Mm. Mm. That's an hour of my life. Yeah. That's an hour I could be watching Stripes again. Sure. Exactly. And yeah. you spent that time, right? All right. What am I stepping on? Your cord. It's gone. Plastics. Everyone, this has been a very special episode of the Kind of Funny Morning Show. Thank you for bearing with us. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, here's what I want you to do. What are you going as for Halloween? And if any of you deign to post, I'm not going to Halloween because it's for kids, you're going to get banned. Banned. Wow. At least for a day. Wow. Okay. So get back in your 12, I want you to get in touch with your 12 year old (laughs) self. Get in touch metaphorically with your 12 year old self, figuratively speaking. And get there and get back in that mindset and let me know what you're going for as Halloween. No, what you're going as for Halloween this year. What are you doing for Halloween? Let's talk about Halloween. I'm excited. Greg, you did a great job on the show today. Thank you. I felt like I did. I can tell you're still a little bit worried about this outfit. It's going to be great. I'm not. I never was. I shook you a little bit. No, well, I thought we just raised good points today. But then seeing them all three side by side, we knew what we were doing. Fair point. Uh, everyone, I'll be back tomorrow, 11 a.m. PT, here on twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames. Uh, I love you very much. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you're watching on YouTube, if you're listening to this on iTunes or SoundCloud or all that stuff. Make sure you subscribe there and give us a good rating. And, of course, as always, please follow me on Twitter at Nick underscore Scarpino, where I am verified. And then if you want, follow me on a more dangerous platform, Instagram. Whoa! At Nick underscore Scarpino on Instagram. Not verified there, but you know what? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I do because I believe in justice. I still believe in justice. I don't care about it. And I'm an Again, I, he, no, you don't care about it until, guess what? Guess how many fucking free Diet Cokes you can be getting on Instagram if I was verified. These are free, man. And Cool Greg just goes off with a card, comes back. He takes free. the company card. Nah. Right, this Diet Coke is a dollar, but... Until tomorrow, Nick's a fucking sucks. But you can't, you can't put a price on freedom. <laughs> you know? There's a price on Diet you Coke and we're paying it. On freedom. You can't put a price on happiness. No. You can't put a price on freedom. Fuck off! You can't put a a price on good tasting, zero calorie beverages. I I ended it, it. just keep it ended! No, Kevin knows better. We don't do that enough. No, I know, we definitely don't. Everyone, I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Kevin, cut the feed, please.